Hello, I'm Daryl. And I'm Daryl. And you're watching another edition of NRTV. In this episode, we'll learn what it means to put people first at Niagara Region. And we'll travel to Grimsby to take a bite out of Public Health's YAPL program. We're here today with Fiona Peaceful, Director of People Services, and we're going to learn about what the region's doing to ensure that we're putting our people first. Thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. Thanks, Zero. Can you start by uh, telling us a little bit about the People First strategy and what it means to employees? Yeah, absolutely. People First is a very comprehensive plan that has very specific actions. But what's most important is that those actions help build employee engagement. They help employees feel that we're investing in their development, that leaders are leading, that there's a healthy, safe, and well environment. So the, the strategy actually has some fairly formal action plans behind it. However, as much as you have a plan, it's really about making a difference with our employees and ultimately with our customers. So uh, what's the big deal about engagement? Why is engagement so important? Engagement is critical. And if you look at any research on organizational health, human resources, um, customer service, stakeholder value, so much goes back to employee engagement. When you have an engaged employee, they're able to deliver better service, they have more healthy, productive relationships with colleagues, and, and to me, it's, it's a cornerstone of a, of a really strong community. So um, what have we done to uh, engage employees so far in terms of finding out their views and what's important to them? One of the critical things we've done is we've gone out, we've done people first surveys, we did people first town halls, we've been working through the Ignite task force, doing site visits. So we've had over a, th a third of our employee group engaged in, in helping us shape the strategy. Uh, so what phase are we at? Where are we at with making sure that we can roll this out uh, officially to staff? Yeah, absolutely. We're at the point where the rubber's hitting the road and we need to take action. Really critical to this is everyone. The leaders, leaders creating an environment where employees feel challenged, supported and valued. Uh, employees supporting one another, that we're delivering on good service to our customers. So we're ready to really knock, you know, knock it up a bit and really drive, you know, to build that engagement. We are in Grimsby in the offices or the facility of uh, the Ford, a, a resource center for youth. And I'm with Victoria Hull, who is a health promoter uh, with Niagara Region Public Health. Welcome to the show, Victoria. Thank you for having me, Daryl. Okay, so Young Adult Peer Leader. Uh, this is a program um, run by, uh, by Public Health and you have a big role to play in that program. What can you tell me about it? So the Young Adult Peer Leader Program started as a health promotion and youth engagement initiative that we wanted to bring out into the community for youth serving organizations. And how many youth have you been able to reach so far? Uh, within our program, so we worked with uh, over 15 different youth serving community organizations over the past four years and we've been able to build skills and really work with over 300 youth. I'm with Rebecca Lumsden. She is a young adult peer leader, a YAPL. And Rebecca, welcome to the show. Uh, tell me what's going on here. Um, so today we're actually um, hosting an event on this Saturday on peer pressure that the kids chose. And so we decided to uh, make a logo with the kids and today we're actually putting it onto the t-shirts. So we have a volunteer here um, teaching them how to screen print onto the t-shirts uh, that they'll be using at their actual event on Saturday. Talk a little bit about the role that you play as a young adult peer leader. Um, so as a young adult peer leader, uh, my role really is to come to these community uh, sponsors and events and helping to bring uh, community building, building relationships and also incorporating healthy messages, um, whether it be tobacco, um, healthy living, uh, sexual health, mental health, all of those, um, bringing those activities and making it really interactive so the kids learn while having fun. Thanks for watching this edition of NRTV. If you have an idea for a future episode, make sure you email us at the address below. Until next time, I'm Daryl. And I'm Daryl. Have a great day.